Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Eyeless Jack. And if you want to lose your eyes, the links and the details are down below in the description as usual, alright? This is actually going to be a short indie horror game based upon the creepypasta of the same name. And if you want to find out more about that, maybe read the story for yourselves, I'll leave a link to that down below in the description as well, alright? It's going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be moving in with my brother. And I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, but leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way, alright? It would mean the world to me. This is Eyeless Jack. Hello, my name is Mitch. Hi Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. Is that right? Okay. So we're going to be reliving this experience? Okay. Huh. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. Okay. Alright, here we are. We're in control. So, I'm Mitch. He's Edwin. He's my brother. Right. And this, I suppose, is my new home sweet home, thanks to him. Right, so these boxes here? Alright. Oh, okay. I can't take more than one at a time. I'm not a strong man. Right. Yeah, home sweet home. Let's go in and let's see... What we've got to work with. Around here? Oh, good start. <laughs> Looks like I found the bathroom. Uh, is this where I'm going to be sleeping? In the bathtub? Uh, let's see. Where does this box go? It seems like I can't just drop it. Maybe somewhere in the hallway or through here? Looks like we've got a kitchen dining area. Um, looks like quite a quaint, cozy little place. Around here? Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so that's where the box goes. Is that where all the boxes go? Hmm. Maybe this is my new bedroom. So what's this? I suppose that's going to be my brother's bedroom, right? <laughs> is he just going to stand there? When he said, let's bring the boxes in, I think he just meant, you bring the boxes in. <laughs> yeah, he's just basically being a doorstop right now. Um. Okay, so, yeah, let's... Head to the bedroom again. I think this is probably going to be where I dump the stuff. There you go. Okay, so one more box. Oh, so he does help. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Thanks. Okay. There we go. Not a bad view. Is that the view that we get from the menu? You know, when it's at night? I think so. Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey there. You started smoking, huh? You want one? No thanks, I don't smoke. Hmm. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. Alright, good night then. Okay. Night. Alright. Seems like a, a fairly frosty relationship, I don't know. It just <laughs> There's something very sort of unnatural about all this. Um, right. So, yeah, let's just go to sleep. Until 1.12am, it seems. Oh. What was that? Someone outside? Oh. Hmm. Was that window open before? Huh. Right. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I'm actually not sure. Seems like I can't close it. Huh. Oh, well, hey, I survived the night, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see. Knock, knock. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. He traded a cigarette for coffee. Good morning. Morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside. But I guess it was just a raccoon or something. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. <laughs> Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I'll make breakfast in the meantime. Okay. Sure thing. The rake is somewhere around the entrance. You know, I think I saw it on the way in. Seems like a very strange thing to do as soon as you get up, though. <laughs> like, can't I have a, a cup of coffee or something to start? Maybe go to the toilet, have a bath, or a, well, I guess not a shower. 
And the front door's just wide open. Fantastic. Right. Here's the rake. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess let's wake myself up by sweeping all these leaves. Okay. Seems like we just have to focus on the piles. What is that that I'm hearing? Hmm. Did the raccoon knock that over as well? Oh, right. Okay. So he's in there cooking breakfast. He is actually helping a little bit this time. Okay. Right, I did hear some rustling. I guess it could have been a raccoon, right? Oh, someone was standing right here looking in. Yeah, we're going to have to close that window. Maybe get some curtains, drapes, blinds, something. Yeah. Right. What else am I going to uncover underneath the leaves? Anything over here? No. Hmm. All right. Slowly but surely, we're getting through all these piles. Oh, okay. It looks like we've got access to the roof, worryingly. Why can't I see into this room? <laughs> I mean, that's probably a good thing in this case. Maybe we can switch rooms. That'd be good. All right. Now I wonder, are there any leaves on the roof? Uh, maybe, maybe, but I, I guess we don't want to rake those up. Okay. Is that it? Are we done? That seems pretty clear. I mean, there's leaves literally everywhere, but <laughs> I think the piles have been raked somewhere. Can I put this back? Maybe we're not done. Maybe we are. Right. Oh, okay. Looks like breakfast might be ready. Just in time. I cooked some eggs. I can see that. They're the flattest looking eggs I've ever seen. All right, let's go eat breakfast. I've worked up a bit of an appetite. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, I'm up now. Wait. That is just open. Hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking I should have maybe found somewhere else to stay. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Can we get the light on? No, we can't even get the light on. We can't leave. Can I pile the boxes up to block the window or something? Am I just going back to sleep? I guess. Oh dear. But hey, I survived another night. Somehow. I feel like maybe I should go outside and, and check if there's anything down there. Right. Are we ever going to get inside this room? I just want to see my brother's bedroom. There he is again. Right. I'll get to him in a moment. Oh. Has my brother locked me in? Do I not have access? <laughs> uh, what's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. Let's go have a look in the mirror. Was the one in the bathroom? Yeah, okay. Well, I don't see much. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh. My face has been sliced. By a raccoon? I don't think so. Okay, an hour later. Oh. Hmm. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. Really? That's strange. No other explanation? Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than that gash. Oh? You <laughs> somehow lost your kidney last night. <laughs> what? And I didn't know? W what? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. What? What? And, and that's it, is it? That's it. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Eyeless Jack is uh, is an extremely good surgeon. Okay. So, are, are we good? Are we just leaving? Like, you know, one kidney less? Before you go, could you please sign this paper? Okay, let's see. 
Okay, now I do actually have the option to sign. Uh, what exactly am I signing? Guess it doesn't really matter. Take care of me. Right. Thank you. To be honest, I probably just signed over my other kidney. Yeah, it was you outside, wasn't it? I'm watching you, Doc. Mm. Right. Now can we leave? <laughs> right. So I'm missing a fucking kidney. <sighs> right. Oh, there he is, as always. Hey, Edwin. How did it go? Not well. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. It's all fucked up. Yeah. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Okay. Sure. All right. And Mitch, if there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. Okay. I know. Thanks, Edwin. Are you not going to tell your brother that someone snuck into your room and stole your kidney? That's worrying me. Guess not. Guess not. Unless it was you. Was it you? Are you ILS Jack? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right. So I've got a key to this room here. Not this one. No, of course not this one. We're never getting inside this room, are we? Uh, so I guess I could lock myself in. But then if I'm sleepwalking, then I could just unlock the door and leave, couldn't I? And maybe lose another organ or two. Yeah, I don't like this. I really don't like this. But again, it seems like the only option is for us to sleep. So, let's go to sleep. Okay, just past midnight. Okay. I'm not sleepwalking this time. Hmm. Oh shit. Whoa, sh oh crap. Shit, I need my camera fast. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, okay, we gotta hold it down, we gotta hold it down. Right, okay. Oh, bloody hell. Flash! Ah! And that is the photo from the creepypasta, isn't it? Oh, I've locked him in. Although, how did he get in in the first place? Through the window? The window is closed. Oh shit. So here we are, just running through the forest now. Oh man, okay. Um, I don't really know where to go. Just straight ahead, right? Have we got any neighbours close by that I can stay with? Oh shit, oh shit, oh I think I see him! Run, run, run! Ah! Oh shit, bloody hell. He's quick. Where was I going? Could that have been avoided? Oh? Good morning, Mike. Oh, morning. I have some good and bad news. Have you found my kidney? The good news is that you only had minor injuries. Oh. And your parents are going to pick you up. Really? However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was from dead. What? I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Jesus. What the fuck? I'll just take my camera and head back. Could you park any closer, by the way? Okay. Right, so the, the camera. Is it going to be in the bedroom? I mean, not Edwin's, obviously. We can't get in there. Right. Well, there it is. And that contains the photo. The rather famous photo. I, I knew more about the photo than the creepypasta, honestly. What the fuck? Edwin? Damn. What did he take? Because he takes organs, right? I think he actually eats organs. Something in the chest cavity. Jesus. Okay, right. I, I don't know if I'm just seeing this or if that's actually there. Get in. Yeah, get in. Get in. Yeah. Let's pretend we didn't see that. I think we're just hallucinating. Are you okay, son? No! Uh yeah, I'm okay, Dad. Wait, is that... Is that a kidney? Did I steal his kidney? Did... That was Eyeless Jack, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. I think we're all asking ourselves the same question. What was in that other room? <laughs> Seriously, though, that was alright. 
it was short, fairly sweet. It, there was some, you know, love and care put into this. I think it's a little bit rough around the edges. It could be improved, tweaked here and there. And maybe it could be a little bit longer. Maybe less restrictions on what you can do. Maybe the days could be longer. And maybe there could be some more spooky events in between, you know, you going to sleep and seeing and hearing things. Um, but overall, I quite like this. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. When he said, let's bring the boxes in, I think he just meant, you bring the boxes in. I guess it could have been a raccoon, right? Did... Hmm. Are we ever going to get inside this room? I just want to see my brother's bedroom. My face has been sliced. By a raccoon? I don't think so. You somehow lost your kidney last night. <laughs> what? And I didn't know? Are you not going to tell your brother that someone snuck into your room and stole your kidney? That's worrying me. Guess not. Oh shit. Whoa, oh shit. Oh, sh oh, I think I see him. Run, run, run. Ah! Oh shit. Bloody hell. I knew more about the photo than the creepypasta, honestly. What the fuck?